Four years ago, I found myself in an unusual situation. It was a cold winter day. And I was standing alongside of Pete Seeger. It was 25 degrees. Pete had come to Washington. Pete carries banjo everywhere he goes, the subway, the bus, and comes out in his shirt. I said, man, Pete, they're put on a jacket, man. It's freezing out here. He's 90 years old. 90 years old. Living embodiment of Woody's legacy. And there were several hundred thousand of our fellow citizens in front of us. We had the Lincoln Memorial behind us. Um, and newly elected president to our right. And we were going to sing, this land is your land, in front of all these Americans. And Pete insisted, said, no, he says, they had, we're gonna have to, we have to sing all the verses. We have to sing all the verses, man. We can't leave any of them out. I said, but yeah, the kid, I don't know, Pete, there's only, we had like a crowd of like six-year-old school kids behind us. He says, no, we're all going to sing all the verses, all the verses. And uh, so we got to it. As I was walking, I saw a sign there. And on that sign it said, no trespassing. And on the other side, didn't say nothing. That side was me, for you and me. This land is your land. This land is my land. This song's meant to be sung by everybody. <laughs> From California to the New York Island. From the redwood forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land me for you and me. So, uh, on that day, On that day, Pete and myself and generations of young and old Americans, all colors, religious beliefs, I realized that sometimes things that come from the outside, things that come from the outside, they make their way in to become a part of the beating heart of the nation. And on that day, when we sung that song, Americans young and old, black and white, of all religious and political beliefs were united for a brief moment by Woody's poetry. So perhaps Lester Bangs wasn't completely right for here we all are tonight in this town together, musicians young and old, celebrating each perhaps in our own way a sense of freedom that was Woody's legacy. So, rumble, the young musicians rumble. Open your ears and open your hearts. Don't take yourself too seriously and take yourself as seriously as death itself. <laughs>